Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here it is, TXRZ840. This is a 2019 model right here. Ankyo only made two models for the 2019, which is the 740 and 840. I don't know what they're going to really put into the 2020 models. They do make a 2020 model. I don't know if it's in the works right now. But um, key features of this model, the 840, is, of course, it's IMAX Enhanced which I don't think I'm really going to really use like that. Um, it is THX certified. Um, it does have HDCP 2.3 that they just gave to us. That was weird. I didn't even know you could update uh, update um, the copyright protection, but you learn everything. You learn something new every day. I wonder if they can hit, hit this with um, 2.1. HDMI for, through firmware. Hey, you never know. But anyway, um, this is 120 watts, wall channels driven at eight ohms. But I'm not gonna be using all because that's why I have the Evo T before right there. That's running on all my five speakers. But um, I kind of really only got this because I wanted the 830, the last last year's 2018 model, but it was the price for it was just crazy. And I really wanted it, but I figured I'd just go for this. This is only a couple hundred dollars more. I paid a thousand dollars for this unit. I don't know if that's a lot of money, but I paid a thousand dollars for this unit. And uh, 830, 2018 830 was like almost nine hundred dollars. It was like it didn't make any sense. So might as well pull the trigger and get this one. And it comes with more features. It is the most um, feature ready device that Ankyo has right now so why not get it a uh, couple buttons right there I'm not really gonna use you got all the inputs right here you can select um that's really it I was I didn't do unboxing because I was two days without a receiver and it was friggin killing me so the day that it came I couldn't really make a video because my my daughter was here she was making a lot of noise and I didn't want to sit and wait until it's quiet to make a video. So I just took it out of the box and just threw it down here, hooked it up, and was freaking happy. Now, a good thing about, I, I kind of watched um, two movies, but there wasn't really newer movies. There were older movies, all the Blu-rays I watched on it. Just, just, just to try to test out this height, Atmos height speaker thing they have technology they have that makes all your 5.1 seem like it's at most so I tried two of those movies and the sound did sound more fully I don't know if it's because of the the amplifier but the sound was way different from my 630 so that's a check right there that actually works um comparing this to the, the 630 I would say this is a bit much louder but I can't really justify that because I do because 630 I wasn't using a power amplifier so maybe that could play in part of it so hey I don't really know but this is way louder than the 630 even though I don't really push my um, speakers that loud but um it's a plus it's a, it's a plus in my whole setup this is gonna be here for a very long time don't think I need to change this no time soon it is future future proof for everything you friggin need I don't still don't know about that 2.1 that is a gaming a gaming feature but you never know if it's possible to send it to a firmware update because this is a 2019 top model this is the flagship what they made for 2019 right here so um I don't know you never know wishful thinking but um a couple more videos I got I don't know if you're gonna see I bought another um cooling fan for the Emotiva. Didn't really push it like that, so I don't know if it ever gets too super hot or not. But just throw a fan on there just just to you know just to safeguard yourself. And that's basically it. Everything this is a plus. If you are on the on the fence of, of getting a, a 840, I don't know if the price is right, a thousand dollars. Um, I don't know if the price is right. I would say go for it. Ankyo has a, a nice sound. Their receiver sounds so good. I would think I think I'm gonna be an Ankyo fanboy, honestly. I like I just like how they look. I just like how the receivers look. 
compared to like Denon and stuff like that. Morantz, I can go for Morantz, but everything else, the Yamaha, even though I had a Yamaha back then, I didn't really like how it looked. Um, Ankyo or Morantz, I just like how their simplistic designs look, you know, already I'm Mrs. Simplistic, I don't like really a bunch of stuff all over the place. Um, anyway, that's it. Not gonna make this video too long. This is my RZ840 flagship of 2019. Um, all the bells and whistles you need. Nine channels, 9.2 channels, and all you know, all the rest of the stuff. So that's it. You guys take care and stay tuned for more videos. Peace.